Greetings, sirs and madams. I'm Seraphic Zero, and we're playing Gun of Battle Operation 2. So I just did my dailies, and you know, I figured I haven't played in a few weeks. So uh, the banner for when I'm recording this is the G-Line Standard, and I really like this mobile suit in the first game, so let's just, I don't know, I have a few tokens, so we'll just try a single spin, and let's see what falls out of this plane here. Okay, man, this takes a long time to load, doesn't it? Yeah, the game's busy calculating all the things it doesn't want to give you. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, Salty's gonna be mad. Okay, um... Wow, well, okay, I got it on my first spin. And, uh, Jesus, I haven't even gotten to play in, like, two weeks. Okay, I... How, how the hell do I keep doing this? Alright, cool. Uh, I got the level 2 G-Line Standard Armor. Yeah, very handsome mobile suit. Um, pretty cool weapons loadout. Uh, so it looks like it does about even ranged and melee. So this is going to be really uh, balanced for a general type. So, you know, fairly good. Uh, well, not, not necessarily specialized uh, at ranged and melee. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Okay, 450 cost, so it's going to be down here. Okay, sort it as general. Hmm. Yeah, so it looks like it has a little more uh, ballistic and beam defense, uh, a lot less melee defense. Yeah, and its uh, attack stats are really even. It, it's a little slower than the light armor, obviously. Yeah, and he's a, kind of a chunky boy there. <laughs> Okay, this is a short beam rifle. So this thing, I hear it it's, uh, it stuns instantaneously, it doesn't charge. Uh, it has really short range, um, 250. So that's like, that's almost like machine gun range. Okay, the beam saber. Okay, enhanced. Okay, this is the weapon that makes this suit cool, the, the Gatling Smashers. Yeah, so in the first game, um, they did good burst damage, but they had almost no ammo. But now they have 90 ammo, so I think you should be able to get off about like uh, two different volleys uh, for different combos. So, yeah. Uh, wow, that's really short range on that rifle. Yeah, and it looks like it should maybe perform similarly to a bazooka. Okay, I guess we'll stick some parts on this guy. Uh, level 2 leg armor. Okay, some shooting parts. Now that I think about it, maybe I should have put on some, um, uh, put on uh, the field mode apart so I can turn around faster, because with the short range on this thing's weapons, it's gonna have to pretty much live in very, very close range, so you might need to turn around fast to deal with multiple opponents. Okay, what else do we want to stick on here? Yeah, we can put on, uh, part reloader to reload the Gatling faster. Uh, yeah, maybe we should focus on the beam rifle, because we, if we overheat that, then it's going to be really difficult to defend ourselves. Mm. Let's see. Oh yeah, bought all those shield parts. What, what else do we want to put on here? Yeah, melee damage, you know, because we're going to be comboing to our beam saber a lot. Uh, shield HP. A lot of shield HP. <laughs> Yeah, this thing has a pretty good, uh, a large size shield, so it, uh, shield HP should be pretty useful. Okay, the skills. Okay, leg shock absorber for landing. Uh, it can dodge roll. Okay, high speed and back for space. Uh, it's got balancer, so you can melee uh, after a boost, and it can melee level two. So it, it really doesn't have any super special skills, but you know, it's, it's got the basic loadout for a general type, so... Yeah, well, I guess they don't call it the standard armor for no reason. Okay, let's throw some paint on this guy, and I think you guys know exactly what's about to happen. Yeah, and I'm just gonna fast forward through this so you guys don't have to see all the painstaking detail I, I go through for this. <laughs> it's gonna be gold! Yeah, and I'm gonna turn off the highlight and all the, uh, the dark colors too. Hmm. There we go. Yeah, that looks that looks pretty good. Okay, I think we're all set. Alright, I think 
Uh, now might be a good time to go ahead and uh, take it out to uh, a test battle and see how it performs. Yeah, I'm really interested to see uh, how well that uh, the Gatling Smashers do. And also, like, the, there's a weird thing about the Gatling Smashers. Like, uh, they're obviously, like, you know, Gatling cannons, but if you look at the images of this mobile suit, like, uh, the muzzles or the end of the barrels for the Gatling barrels, like, they have, like, this little cap over them, so I'm like, how, like, how is this thing shooting bullets? <laughs> It's really odd. Anyway, um, okay, so we're testing at 450. I'm just looking at the weapon cycle. Uh, so annoyingly, they put um, the beam rifle and the Gatling Smashers opposite. For some reason, um, they'll cycle to Vulcans right after Beam Saber, so that's really annoying. Oh, okay, it has the same neutral swing as the G-Line light armor. That's, that's interesting. Okay, yeah, the ready time for the Beam Saber is kind of long, or the cooldown for it. Okay, let's see how this thing moves. Yeah, it's um, it's pretty average in terms of mobility, as far as I can see. Okay, 1,700 damage on that Gundam. Yeah, I couldn't see the neutral damage. 2,300. That's that's pretty decent. So this thing kind of seems like it's a uh, fairly good. At everything, maybe not great, but yeah. Okay, let's try the Gatling Smashers. Yeah, so the problem with these weapons is this weapon is you you can only fire it while you're standing still. So, in a sense, this mobile suit is very similar to the Gundam Alex, you know, because it has a beam rifle and it has a really good machine gun weapon. But overall, the the Alex just has a lot better mobility. But yeah, these Gatling Smashers look like they're performing really well. They have very, very good uh, burst damage. Okay, two-shot overheat. Okay, let's reset these enemies. Okay, 90 shots. Yeah, yeah the, uh, the dodge roll is pretty smooth. Um, yeah, I need to test the overheat on the beam rifle because I have those cooling parts on it. Okay. Let's see how long it takes to stun with this. Okay, so about half of the shot capacity will stun. Yeah, that might be difficult to land, but yeah, this this weapon just has a really incredible rate of fire, so yeah, you can do a lot of damage in a short amount of time with that. Wow, that is a pretty effective range combo. Holy shit. Yeah, I think um, I'm probably going to do that a lot. Like, you guys know me. I, I don't tend to do trip combos very often, but um, comboing from the Gatling, uh, or from the beam rifle to the Gatling Smasher might be cool. Ah, oh, crap, I kind of messed up my cancel right there. Hmm. Alright, let's get rid of that guy. Oh, wow. Yeah, you... You can't really pull that off effectively, so... Uh, yeah, switching to Gatlings, and then the fact that it can only fire when you're standing still, that is not an effective combo at all like you you can barely get a, like any shots off so yeah you're you're better off just staying on saber and following up with that instead and that's kind of disappointing okay let's finish off this gundam and yeah, my ocd is not gonna <laughs> allow me to leave him like unkilled all right i think we're done beating on these dummies um yeah let's get out of the suit and take a closer look at it Yeah, this is a really, really handsome design. I'm really glad they added this into the game. Yeah, they were some of my favorite mobile suits from the first Gundam Battle Operation. And yeah, I, I really think um, they should do like more original Gundam games and try to incorporate like new designs from those like into Gundam Battle Operation. 
But yeah, the I'm really glad I got the standard armor. I'm gonna hopefully get it out in a real match soon so you guys can see it in action. But uh, yeah, I think that might be it for this video, guys. So yeah, the G-Line standard looks great. Um, I'll get a match for it soon. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video, and we'll see you guys next time.